Yeah, I still be showing you how to get Windows 98 on VirtualBox. So here are the ISOs. There are five of them. Um, you'll need MS DOS partitions. So here are all the ISOs. I'll put all the links in the descriptions or the comments. So you open up VirtualBox and you click New, and then Windows 95. Click next, uh, keep all this at the default, and then just keep it dynamically allocated, and then 2 gigabytes. You can make it more storage, but uh, at some point it will blue screen with too much storage. Go to this floppy device right here, choose a disk, and yours will be in downloads, but mine will be in desktop. Use disk 1, and then click start. And now you click enter, 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 you hit enter three times, and it'll bring it back into this. Now it'll format. Pretty fast. And then you hit enter, enter. And then now you right click this little disk. You go to choose a disk file, go to downloads. Mine will be in desktop, but yours will be in downloads. And right, uh, just double click disk two, and then click enter. And then you're need, gonna need to choose a disk file. Uh, go to downloads again and do disk 3 and click enter again. Now uh, take all the disks out, so remove disks and um, restart the machine. Okay, now you right click the floppy. Mine's going to be here, but yours is going to be in downloads. So just go to choose a disk and it should be in. Downloads, but mine's right here, so just CD-ROM. Go into Drive A, then Setup.bat, and now it's complete. Now just remove the disk and reset the machine. Okay, now you're here. Now right-click the disk, and then choose a disk file. And then do Windows 95. And then what you're going to want to do is whatever your uh, drive number is. Mine's D. So just whatever it is. D, R, C, whatever. And then click colon. A D colon. And click enter. And then write D, I, R. And then type in setup. And then click enter. And now you're in the first graphical part. Or it's, I don't know. You have a mouse, so it's pretty much graphical. Just click continue. Just click yes. And hold on, I'm gonna full screen this. And then just click next. And then click next again. And then click uh, next. Now here's the um the thingy. Okay, here's the uh, product key. Just click next. Uh, your name. I'll just name this Windows 95 company i don't think you would do that but you can if you want to just click next and then uh click check on both of those you want both of those and then click next and then just uh click next and then click next again and then click next this is when you're gonna need the um the startup file so just go to the floppy right click the floppy click choose a disk Yours is going to be in downloads, but mine's going to be in desktop. And it's called Windows 95 Startup Disk. Just double click that, and then click OK. And then now, you're going to want to take it out. So, uh, remove all disks, and then just click OK. OK, now you're going to want to click Finish Setup. Oh, yeah, also, before you uh, click this, you have to take out your Windows 95 disk. So, remove all disks, and then you can click Enter, or OK. Now, restart. Now, here is where you need the ISO. And then, click Fix uh, 95 CPU. And it's actually in the disk, not the floppy. So, put that in the disk. And then restart the machine.
and now you're here press any key to continue and uh, you don't just click no on that and then uh, press any key to continue and then remove the disk and then we just reset just click normal okay yeah and then I'll just click OK on that yeah, I need to and then computer name just name it Windows 29 yeah there and then work group computer description doesn't matter just you can fill those out as you please and then click close so it will show you this all you're gonna need to do is re uh, put the um so now the disk is back in there and then click okay and then just click yes now it's just updating stuff i mean loading stuff okay now just click close on this click next uh this is a printer so just click cancel on that and then click okay Sometimes it won't restart your computer, just go up in the corner and click reset. And uh, now what you're going to want to do is remove the disk. And then click reset. Now it says loading files. And now your username. Windows 95, password, you don't have to put a password in, but you can, just click OK. And now you're in Windows 95. It's just like Windows 95, you can do what you want. And even at the startup chime, that's uh, why I had a quick check on, check on that box a while ago, because I wanted the startup chime if you don't. So now you can just click shut down or do whatever you want. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.